the, the next important one which is society okay so society okay for every record you can't show in the form or you can't show in the list even if i want to add it in the list also it won't show there is no field exposed okay but how can i see first how can i see next what is society say right click copy society okay right click on the record if it is in a list view copy society okay so just to get it okay this one or if you are in a form okay so right click copy society where is that no no no, no. here okay got it and give me one second it is with double tutor okay copy society okay the same thing the same record i did from uh, the list and now it is in form like this you can do right click or you can from do also from here okay or there is something where you can also see like xml i will show you xml one later okay so this is how you will get it but what is a society this is very very important okay uh, give me two minutes and uh, i think now it's fine so do you know about uh, anyone knows database no right uh, no the, only the class that we seen that is only database we know but uh, nothing else okay so someone are uh, working on chemical department right yes sir yeah. as part of your day to day job maybe i don't know exactly the job profile but uh, let's say you are capturing something okay maybe medicine name okay medicine name okay and uh -huh. quantity okay something 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 and you are capturing somewhere in an excel sheet kind of uh, tool right yes and uh, so uh, how you differentiate each medicine let's say i have five medicines okay maybe crocin okay and uh, dolo okay something 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 five are there you are capturing in the excel sheet uh, okay yes well, how yeah. you differentiate them in chemicals they have a case numbers hmm. uh, every every uh, you know chemical has their own case number a unique number yes yes so uh, excel let me write it in excel it looks more clear so in database view database level okay this concept applies everywhere ma now you can start seeing things okay starts from a school starts from uh, a shopping cart everything okay data so let's say we have a database okay so maybe a student database or a chemical data medicines okay medicine name okay so this is a medical database okay maybe i can just say like this okay what i am doing okay so uh, normally how they capture is maybe medicine name will be there okay and uh, maybe uh, some details will be there maybe chemical details something 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 and uh, manufacturing date okay maybe expiry date something something department i don't know okay and they will start uh, filling the things like this crocin and uh, dolo okay and blah 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 and they don't see the name as a unique identifier here also we can't use name maybe some other vendor will give the same name crocin vendor would be different here but medicine name would be the same okay so the name cannot be a unique identifier so what could be a unique identifier for everything they will give some name maybe as uh, prashanti garu told they may they are using something called batch number or something or some chemical number something so it gives handy okay uh, cash number only cash number cash number maybe yes yeah hmm. cash number so that means it it have a unique number for every medicine there would be one number okay they will identify using this one okay and one statement in this particular example is no two medicines have the same case number it should not be Okay, last this last statement is clear, Andy. Yes, Andy. You can just refer it maybe later if you have time. But primary key is core to identify the uniqueness in the database, and it is a 
it will be there in every every database okay so when they are developing this one they kept one id called sys id okay the sys id is a unique identifier for a record so each record here have their own sys id so this sys id we copied so what is the sys id of this one so gets this one so second record sys id is this one so every every field have its own sys id so this is how the system will identify the ticket maybe a uh, two two incident should have same uh, short short uh, short description maybe the same number also they can there is a logic there is external script where it it makes this uh, number uh, iterated but maybe you can still keep it okay i can keep it i can keep the same number but i can't i can keep any value per a field using my scripting but i can't set a, a sys id for a record okay the sys id is a unique identifier for a record and in the system everything is a record right you agree yes sir so let's say the statement i am showing okay so okay we didn't create the table huh? we created okay just go here yeah so when i say that statement okay in system everything is a record okay is this a record or not yes sir okay this is a record on which table um, construction table what is that production table ma construction table <laughs> it is a record of construction table but this record is on which table okay in the other words okay this is a record from incident table this is a record of incident table this is a record of incident table this is a record of incident table and this is a record of this table where the yesterday we covered where the table information will store so this is a record even the table that you created is again a record in this table right yes sir and even this have a sys id because it is also a record you are getting it ma yes no yes sir okay so now what is this sys id we we got to know now okay and next one is uh we call it as there is a terminology called guid okay sys id is 32 characters guid maybe i can write like this okay we uh, and it's a unique identifier that's it when you want to write much but this is the simplest guid means it's a unique identifier ma guid will be used for uh, uniqueness only okay but do you know what is the guid means abbreviation of guid no right so guid refers to okay so now can what does it mean if if you read it now what does it mean ma just just, just it is a unique identifier mm, it is unique identifier yeah. on which yeah, level, is, on which level? Is, um, on global level on global level so okay the probability the probability of matching this uh, number with any other sys id in the uh, in the database is zero 